Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to create web applications in Python. So just for this videos, uh, for this set of tutorials, we're gonna create a web application for creating notes. Just a very simple thing. So to start out, you wanna create a new folder called Node App. And inside of that folder, you wanna create another folder called Node App. And inside of that folder, you want to create a few other folders. Uh, one folder would be uh, static, another folder, templates, another folder, views. And the static folder will hold static files such as images and style sheets and, and even JavaScript. Um, so inside of the static folder, create three folders, CSS, image JS. Inside of the views folder, uh, actually we're going to do that later. Um, so this is all for now. Um, we will create some files as well, but we will do that using the terminal. Right. So I'm going to go to uh, our project and in the first node app folder, we're going to create a file called main.py. And then we're going to go to the second node app folder and create another file called init.py. And this file just tells Python that this is a package, that this node app folder should be treated as a package. Right. And the views folder is also a package. So let's go into that one and touch init.py. There we go. So um, let's open this project in our favorite editor. I'm going to use Vim. Uh, I have already opened it, but I'm going to open it again. There we go. And we actually want to create another file in a node app folder as well called app.py. We will use a library called Flask uh, to create this web application. So go into the app.py file and, and, imp and import Flask. Create the Flask object, which takes a parameter. Uh, I think it's a title. Uh, we're just going to use name and that will be the name of this file. Cool. Um, and now inside of the main folder, you want to import the app. So from node app dot app import app. And then you want to do if name is equal to name. So if the name of the program is equal to this, then app dot run. Well, debug is equal to true. And by setting debug to true, we will get errors and stuff in the console. Um, cool. So let's save this file. We should be able to execute the file now with some errors. So Python, you see, it can't find the Flask library. So what we can do is just to install it on our system or we could create a virtual environment and install it inside of there. I prefer doing that because I don't want to get my system dirty. So uh, you need to install the Python virtual env package to be able to do that. I have already done that. So we will use the Python 2.7 version. And we will create a virtual environment in a folder called Venv. Then we're going to go into the, the uh, virtual environment by sourcing it. And now we will install Flask because now we are inside of the virtual environment. So pip install Flask. And by the way, I'm using Linux now, but this should work on Mac as well. 
and probably on Windows somehow. I don't know about Windows, uh, but it should work. Cool. Uh, so now we should be able to run the application. Cool. And we can see here how to access it. Localhost 5000. And as you can see, it will say not found because we haven't set up any routes yet. So uh, you can actually leave the application running because it will update itself while you edit the code. So just to, just to show you how to create a route, I'm going to go into the app and I'm going to do app.route and I will say if you go to the slash route, you will end up getting this response. And as you can see, detected change in AppDotPy reloading. So now we should see hello world here. Cool. So now you have created your first web application. And in the next video, we will, we will start creating views and making some styles. And we will uh, uh, start working on the actual functionality of this application. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.